Hello there, and welcome to this video. In a short time, we will see how to upload videos on YouTube with the best HD and 4K rendering settings. Leave us comments and suggestions in the video description to improve our future videos for CyberLink PowerDirector 16. Let's suppose you have a project to render. To start rendering, just click on the Produce tab. There are two ways to render a HD or 4K video on YouTube, by using the Online tab or Standard 2D tab. When using the Online tab, you render and upload your video by using ready templates shown by PowerDirector. These templates can render HD or 4K videos with .wmv format. Choose YouTube on top and then under Profile Type, fix the frame or video size you like. Choose Full HD Quality to get a HD 1080p video on YouTube or choose 2K or 4K quality to get 2K or 4K videos on YouTube, which are also marked by a small icon on the YouTube search. Remember that HD or 4K frame size acts just as the whole video size to use and not the quality itself. For example, if you render any media which is smaller in size or looks blurry, you won't obtain a high quality video even if you render at HD or 4K. Make sure to use high quality media to render at these resolutions properly. Once the frame size is fixed, go to the Start button below to log in with your YouTube account to render and upload your video. The second way to render your project is to use the standard 2D tab. This does not upload your video on YouTube directly. It just renders and saves your video on your computer and you can upload it later on your own. Despite this, Standard 2D offers much more options than the Online tab, including the ability to render with 60 frames per second and use the very best render settings for YouTube. First of all, choose a H.264 AVC format, which allows you to render .mp4 videos. Then, under Profile Name Quality, choose the frame size and frame rate which you would like on the video. In particular, the first two numbers indicate the frame size, such as the video width and height. So you can select a size of 1920 by 1080 pixels to render HD video and a size of 4096 by 2160 pixels for a 4K video. After the slash, you have another number indicating the frame rate, measured in frames per second or FPS. Videos usually have between 20 and 25 FPS, but you may need to render at a higher frame rate in case you make slow motion videos or use a lower playback rate on YouTube. Moreover, you can also set video properties manually and create your own customized template by clicking on the plus button. Under Video, you can set the frame size under Resolution and a customized frame rate such as the 60 frames per second which is the maximum allowed on YouTube. Make sure to select Progressive as frame type as suggested by YouTube. For all the details about the best rendering settings for YouTube, make sure to check out the link in our video description. Once you create your own template, this is shown as Custom Profile. You can pick the standard templates by choosing Default under Profile Type. To render HD or 4K videos, you should use videos and images which respect the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. In case you import old media, they may have a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, and so they show black bars on the extreme sides of the preview. To adjust this media to the new aspect ratio, you can either crop or stretch it until the black bars are covered. First, drag and drop a color board to check the preview contours. Then you can crop the clip by using the Crop tool selecting 16 to 9 under Aspect Ratio and choosing the part of the clip to show. If you do not want to cut parts of the clip, you can stretch it by using the blue nodes on the preview in clip mode until the black bars are hidden. Thanks for watching this video. Check out our full guide for CyberLink PowerDirector 16 to become a professional.